What's happening, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. I think I'm finally having a good hair day uh, for a face shot here, so pretty happy and proud about that. Today I wanted to show you how I turn a single 10cc spore syringe into about 300cc of liquid culture. This is great for really any kind of mushroom cultivation that you're doing, whether that's medicinal or culinary or whatever. In my own mushroom cultivation practice, this skill has saved me a lot of time and money. After I get a batch of liquid culture done and suck it up into syringes, I can keep those in the fridge for about six months. And you can do a lot in six months with 300 cc's of liquid culture. Most of the ingredients and equipment you see today I have for sale on my website. So if you're interested, check it out, oneearthmushrooms.com. All right, let's jump into it. To get started, I use a one US pint glass jar, a vented and plugged lid, 12 grams of light corn syrup, a pressure cooker, micro pour tape, a four inch blunt tip dispensing needle, 10 30 cc syringes. And later I'll use these needles to dispense the culture. The surprise ingredient here is a rock. I start by filling the jar with 300 grams of water, and that's equivalent to 300 milliliters. Man, I love that metric system. And if you don't have a scale, you can just fill it up to the 300 ml mark. And then I add my 12 grams of nutrients. And I fill and empty the syringe a couple of times just to wash all the goodies out. Give it a little mix. Add my special rock, and this is gonna help break up mycelium later. And then I install the lid and the ring. And then place a piece of micropore tape over the vent hole. Here I like to give a gift to future me by folding the end of the tape over. I don't bother putting tin foil over the top on liquid culture jars and just load it straight into the pressure cooker. And as always, don't forget to add water to the bottom of the pressure cooker. We only need to pressure cook for 15 minutes at 15 PSI. I've noticed that when I go longer, it starts to crystallize all of the sugars that I've added, which is not a good thing here. After pressure cooking is complete, I allow the solution to cool all the way down to room temperature. And then it's time to add my spores. I prep this by opening the needle, pulling the cap off the end of my spore syringe, and then giving it a really good shake. I add a few drops of isopropyl alcohol to the injection port then send it. Give the syringe a quick flush. And then I label it with my own proprietary labeling system. Just joking, it's not proprietary. And then I set the jar aside somewhere that's gonna stay mostly dark. And you don't have to check on it for about a week, but if you notice, I put it up with my coffee mug so I get to look at it every day. After about a week, you'll start to see mycelium forming. And here we can see a lot of spores still swirling around, but also these white chunks of mycelium. And after about three weeks, we'll see that the spores are all gone. There's a ton of mycelium floating around in here. Now it's time for us to suck this up into some syringes. I'm just going to show you one syringe here today. 
I start by sanitizing my four inch dispensing needle and then I hook up my 30 cc syringe. I run alcohol through the needle a few times just to clean it out. Spray the vent hole and then drive my needle through the vent hole. Make sure your solution is nice and mixed up and you got mycelium floating everywhere. And then I suck up as much as I can fit into my syringe, which actually ends up being just over 35 cc's. I then give the syringe cap a quick spray and add it to the end of the syringe. And here we go. Nice little liquid culture syringe for us here. And I label my syringe so it doesn't get mixed up with anything else. And then repeat. Thank you for watching. I hope that if nothing else you were entertained, but ideally I hope you learned something. If you did, or if you're just generally appreciating this content, I would like to remind you that you did not see any ads on this video. And also this video was not behind a paywall. And that is thanks to people like you supporting me. If you want to financially support this work I'm doing, there's two great ways to do that, through Venmo or through Patreon. Links to both are in the description below. And purchases on my website really help keep things going as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.